New coronavirus numbers for Hampton Roads are out, and the data is showing positive trends for our area. But there are still some concerning spots. Dan Kennedy is here to break down the data. There's some reason to be optimistic about COVID-19 cases in Hampton Roads. Only two of our local health districts are reporting positivity rates above the statewide average, which is now at 6.6%. That means less than 6% of tests are coming back positive in the Hampton Health District, Peninsula, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and Chesapeake. But there is still work to do in Portsmouth and Western Tidewater. We'll start talking about Portsmouth specifically, which today unfortunately reported its highest number of daily cases in about six weeks with 61 new infections there. In Western Tidewater, Suffolk's above average week has helped push that two week moving average up a bit. But the real cause for concern in the Western Tidewater District is even further west in the city of uh, Franklin that I've been talking about for a few weeks now. But also, particularly today, I want to focus on Southampton County where cases have skyrocketed this past week. This time last Friday, there were just 395 cases since March in Southampton County. Today, there's officially 526. So to put that in perspective for you, a quarter of their cases have come in the past week alone. Better news to be found, though, in Chesapeake, where there has been a very steady decline of infection since early August. Chesapeake now has a positivity rate of 4.7%, surpassing Virginia Beach as the number one city locally with the best handle on COVID-19 currently. I'm Dan Kennedy reporting for 13 News Now.